I told myself it's okay to lose your way when trying to find the truth. But once I walked far enough past the ravens in the woods, I found the same old shadow with some brand new rules. It suggested claiming wisdom was a symptom of a fool. I kept on walking regardless of the fears of losing my progress. Overthinking is the ugly opposite of being thoughtless. I ask the warmth of the darkness to prove to me that it's harmless. Should I allow it to harvest the pain I planted in hardships? It said, I will be yours, but you won't be mine. I will reject you the moment I feel you've taken a liking to your crimes. I looked it coldly in the eye and cut it short with my reply. Embrace me. Hide me. Provide me with an entirely redesigned variety of tools and tricks I may apply to fake sobriety. While waiting for the visions to alleviate anxiety, I question the origins of this kamikaze honesty. As the lightning strikes the trees, yet stumbling I must try to deconstruct a million lies, face the ugliness inside, and kill what resonates outside. That's why I fight and fight. In spite of there being no one in sight in the hopes that I just might save myself from going blind. The sirens and the muses sing a haunting melody, but in the stormiest of nights the loyal moon will call on me, an injured lone wolf with death and agony as family, cursing the sun for calling his painful howls a heinous blasphemy. I broke myself in half to see the death of the tribe mentality as I crashed into the truth and started living accordingly to the grip in my gut and the knowledge that I breathe and when I'm not being authentic I can feel it haunting me. Critics fall from the palace walls but are living on through their poetry. Our molecular mass and densities do not dictate our destinies, inscribing our verses as curses into the skulls and bones of the tyrants and their viruses and hearts made of stone. The generations after me will hear my music differently, will get it more than my family. The reason that I can't help but be a superhero wannabe, because my programming was hella deep, as deep as a secret keeping me a hostage to this frequent. See, you're not allowed to breathe until the masters are appeased and advertising agencies repackage all your wants as needs. Your peers disappear and you see your years decrease and I bet you all can't wait until an album is released. But please, we're all diseased. Unless we desist and seize every excess and increase that lies unjustified on fears that feed the grease and oil to the gears that are coming to crush our broken homes. Bulldoze our parents' dreams and turn our children into bones. You see the drones that deliver your kids' Christmas presents? They're the same ones hovering over nearby deserts used as weapons that empty clips into babies and eclipses coming on the day when we wake up to find the darkness inside of our cheap apartments. Glove compartments, flavored condoms, genital worship, draining hearts. If not, then shisha places, smoking, talking shit, and playing cards. If not, soliciting at the club. We're convinced that's living it up. We've been corrupted and instructed to shut the fuck up and watch clips of booty shaking and plastic breasts as a symbol of freedom and we fall for this? The bliss they promise is venomous. Perfume promises smell like piss that keep us drugged inside a box, throwing rocks up at the stars, cursing the hells and heavens from inside our fancy cars. So crucify me and fabricate a reason that I should be hated, shunned in public and berated. Disallow any debate that you've tried to implicate me like you did the rest of us. So tell them I was selling drugs or murdered by a gang of thugs or raped a child and made a film or overdosed on heroin. Go for the plan if you're confident. You can kill a man, but you can't kill a pen. To those that came before me, your work is never stopping. I am Morrison, Winehouse, Jackson, Hendrix, Cobain, and Joplin, and plenty more will drop in a pool of ink and blood, then reincarnate in art till your throne has fallen apart. I've emptied out my heart. I don't care if I depart, so go ahead and send me home. That's what I wanted from the start. Thank you.